Hello everybody, welcome to the first world tour in our brand new world, and this is episode 20. If you guys didn't know this was a world tour episode, it's a world tour episode. And I'm very, very excited to show you what's been going on, because obviously, you know, you know, there's been a lot going on in this, these first 20 episodes, and I am really looking forward to showcasing it. Now, a lot of stuff has happened between the two episodes, this episode and the episode before, and that's going to be a surprise. And a secret it will remain until later on in the episode. So there is a lot of stuff I want to get through, so... Let's just get started. You will spawn in this, on this island. This is the island I spawned on, on episode one. You will remember this, a very, very near time, actually. It was only a few weeks ago. Uh, so yes, this is episode one spawn area. We went in that direction. And what I've left here is I've left some stuff just in case you ever get lost and you eventually die, find your way back to spawn. At least you've got something to get your way back. You know, there's at least there's some way of getting yourself back. So these maps aren't yet finished, but by the time you guys download this world, there will be a little chest here with a bit of a surprise in it, I guess. A little bit of a, a quest for you to do. But before we get to that, I'll explain that a bit later. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get back to our normal village so we can at least sleep. Because sadly, I don't have a bed on me and that is not a good time. So, first of all, you'll notice that the world is looking very, very pretty. Extra pretty, in fact. I mean, not to say that it doesn't look too good normally, but I think this is there is something noticeable. And that is the shaders we are using. The shaders we are currently using, I will show you what they are called over here. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. Sealed as enhanced default, redone. These shaders are the shaders I've chosen because I think they're very, very applicable to nighttime, daytime, any time of that you want to play in, like with shaders. They work very, very well and they, they're not too crazy as well. So very, very cool shaders. If you guys want them, I will leave a link to their download in the description as well. But we'll continue. And of course, you know the texture pack is always down in the description. So, the thing that I was teasing a bit earlier is the area that I worked on over there, which is going to be a surprise. And if you guys don't know what that surprise is, I gave a little bit of a spoiler away on Twitter. So, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, definitely go and catch up with it. There is a few secrets that I leave there every now and then. So, that will that is a link down in the description if you guys want to. Oh, I'm sorry, Grass. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's sleep quickly and we can continue on without getting destroyed by creepers. Most importantly, creepers. They're the only ones that really, that really, really bother us. So, besides that, okay, we've got the download out of the way, we've got the shaders out of the way, we're gonna get started. So, if you guys get lost when you've downloaded this world, I know there's gonna be someone asking me, what are the coordinates? These are the coordinates right here. They're the coordinates. If you want them, you can grab them. Perfect. All right, so this is our very first house. You guys know this. If you don't know this, this is our very first house. And on episode one, we managed to build this, and my whole point was I wanted to get up and running, but mostly I didn't want to feel like I was, I was trying to just get everything, go kill the dragon, go and carry on quickly. But it kind of turned out that way. <laughs> but realistically, the amount of time I've put in really didn't, it didn't feel like that to me. But what I did was on episode one, I built this. We went ahead and started experimenting with fire, which actually, this, this is a, a thing that turned out to be a very important part of the next part of the, of the world. And there we go, spider, you can go. Thank you. Perfect. Alright, so this village is a very basic village. It basically was because we didn't have many resources. And not only that, it also was a, uh, a starting point, you know. A quick and easy village to get started with. We didn't want to build anything too crazy. Because of course we, as I say, don't have the resources to do that. By the way, that tower there, we'll get to it. But you'll notice that it's not working right now. And that's purely because I've got the Ender Dragon Egg in there. And if at some stage there are two Ender Dragon Eggs in there, I will be very, very happy. So, if ever you're playing in this world and all of a sudden you find, wow, I've got a second egg, that's because uh, it's duplicated and it's magic. It's Minecraft magic. So, down here in the well, here is our entrance to the Nether Hub. We are, well, eventual Nether Hub. Currently, it's just the Nether. <laughs> and uh, basically, the whole reason for that is because I, uh, I, I was hoping I was going to be in there still. Uh, the whole reason for that was because we want to hide the nether, but keep it as a part of the world. Actually, I saw a creeper down here somewhere, but I probably shouldn't be standing around. So, let's carry on. Let's move along swiftly. Of course, you can not miss the giant lighthouse. Bam. One of my favorite builds I've done so far in this world, and I've actually done a tutorial for it, which apparently was very, very awesome for you guys. A lot of you guys have built it, and I love to see that people are, are following along and building along with us in the world, but also, at least, you guys get the, the, uh... Tutorials, if ever you do need to build one of these builds, which are a little bit more complicated and uh, not as easy to see from just my my angle. So, of course, we've got the wind, the, uh, what was I was about to say, windmill. The lighthouse, which has a path, which is getting done. This is not done just yet, but it's on its way to being completed. I've just gone ahead and planned it out a while ago, and I haven't, I haven't quite completed it yet. And then over here, the lighthouse 
Manager, I guess, or the lighthouse operator. That's right. I haven't finished this house as well, which I've got so many things on my to-do list. Uh, but I want to keep going ahead, going ahead with the series. You know, we can't we can't stand still. We got to just keep moving along, doing more things, coming back to these as we go. But of course, these these are things that do have to still get done. Now, my thought with this series, and I, I spoke about it actually just recently. Well, today, actually, the day I'm recording this episode in a stream of how I want to account for every person in this world. So I will build every house because this world is based around a story that's going on really and and that's helping me build a lot because when i when i stop and say hey jancy what do you want to build what like what is something i need to build what do i want to build and i will say you know what i'm building in this village what does this village have it's got a fisherman the fisherman lives there these people however being me the builder live in that house that house that house over there and the other house those people really don't live anywhere but i think i can account for them by being people who fish that's about it. <laughs> so this village really didn't have too much thought in it. So we will we'll come back and write a bit of a bit of law for this one. Uh, but that that's just the story of this village. By the way, the village name is Kote, and I know I've messed it up because it's actually a Swedish word uh, for pinecone. And I thought it was a pretty cool name because this side of the world I kind of picture as a a, a bit of a, a, a like outcast sort of the like. There's two kingdoms basically. We've got a kingdom further that way, which is still yet to be built. And we got this kingdom on this side. There's two mainlands in this world. And the idea is that this one kind of represents something similar to the uh, the Stormcloaks in Skyrim. So if you guys do know Skyrim the game, which many of you guys will, that's what this sort of, in my mind, represents. Uh, now here's something. Here's something. One of my first builds that actually turned out quite all right. Ta-da. <laughs> the Wizard Tower, which also has a tutorial, might I add. Man, two tutorials in, uh, in the space of 100 blocks. <laughs> So here is the wizard tower. It's a nice little build, compact build, and that was just to house the enchanting table and make it look a little bit prettier because I had the enchanting table, of course, as you normally do, out in the in the middle of nowhere, and it just doesn't really look too good. So I've I've worked out something, and it was actually a nice little a nice little change of a build. Kind of a bit controversial. Some people didn't really like the purple. Many of you guys absolutely love the purple. To be honest, I actually do like the purple. I let it at first I was kind of also a little bit in two minds about it, but but it grew on me. It definitely grew on me. Now here is the build that we do not speak about. We really messed this up and I, I'm not going to carry on too much, but this was my attempt at stables and they just didn't turn out anywhere like I wanted them to. So we're going to leave that. We're not going to go through there, but one day, I mean, if you guys can fix it up, please send me a picture. I'd love to see it. Uh, but I, uh, one day we'll come back to it and fix that up. It's just something that I felt I really messed up from the beginning and it just wasn't working my way. So that the best thing to do with a build like that is just step back. Gather yourself and come back to it at a later stage. Here we go. This is one of our stream builds. So basically what I've decided to do after a few episodes, I realized that if I want to have, did I say steam or stream? I should have said stream. But uh, I noticed quickly in this uh, series that I didn't want to have everything all in one like thing. So I didn't want to have all my YouTube and all my Twitch together because a lot of you guys can't follow on Twitch as well as YouTube and vice versa. So what I decided to do, because I definitely love streaming, I love streaming and I want to have this world done in streaming mode and in YouTube mode. So basically I've separated a lot of projects. There will be a bit of overlap, for instance, normally on streams we'll probably complete a few projects that we start in YouTube videos, but we, we recently have our own stream projects, which are slightly larger projects, obviously, because they, uh, they lend themselves pretty well to that for a, a stream. So here we go. Bam. This is the inn. The inn is a build we've worked on for quite some time, and I've, I've been playing around with different ideas. You can see the, the shape of the roof, the size of the building. All of these things are things that I've never really experimented with until this, this series, and I'm really, really loving the way this turns out. Like, look at this. Look at this. Let me just, let me take a step back. Bam. Look at that. So the idea is that there is a path going all the way down there. Eventually, we will build this path all the way up to the main kingdom that I was talking about, which is going to be a very, very large area there. Huge. It's going, to, it's going to be the big project of the uh, first, at least 100 episodes, I'd imagine it would be before this one's finished. And I know you're like, 100 episodes? Why do you think you're 100 episodes ahead? Because it's been a month and we're already on episode 20. Not even a month. So we definitely are going to be getting to that 100 episodes in no time. And it's going to be a lot of work, but it's going to be a very, very cool and uh, really, I'm hoping, very, very immersive area around here. That's what we're going for. This whole world, we're going for a really immersive feel. Like, you walk through it, you you kind of 
looking at terrain, you're looking at the builds, and it's just hopefully going to be very, very uh, beautiful when we're done with it. Now, this is the inside. I'm yet to add in the actual interiors, but I, I keep coming back to these, and I absolutely love these arches. One of those things I did on the fly and somehow worked very, very well, and I just kind of, kind of went with it. So now, as we go through here, I am going to go back to the next spot. And I'm not going to go through the end or the nether, by the way, guys, because I don't feel like they are really, really too important to show. You know, the nether is literally a, uh, a diorite tunnel. <laughs> with much to everyone's disgust and uh the the end is in like it's not completed yet but if you guys want to find it i will definitely leave you some coordinates in the nether to show you where the nether the nether portal to the end portal is so because i know that's going to be asked for and i know you guys won't know where it is so i will leave them down in the description you can check it out and that will be very very easy for you to find so while we walk around here i want to also discuss something that is that is really it's really really cool so when we started this series and I really should have double checked, but I'm pretty sure we were on 18,000 or 19,000 subscribers on this channel, which was uh, basically now more than 10,000 people ago. <laughs> that is insane. That is absolutely insane because today when I'm recording this, I have just hit over 30,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is crazy. Uh, specifically in the amount of time we've gathered these like last 10,000 of you guys. So for all of you guys who are new, and from all of you guys who are old, welcome, and thank you for sticking around. <laughs> so, it's really, really cool to see this awesome mix of people, and specifically the really awesome community that we have going on around this channel, and the streams, and Discord, and just everything. So if you guys ever do want to come around, join us on Discord, join us in stream, feel free. We'd love to see you guys there, and we always have a good time. So here we go. Look at that. Look at those mountains. I'm so, so happy with them. They are looking amazing. By the way, these trees are going. Don't, do not fear. Do not fear. They, they're my junk trees. They're my trees for leaves. Oh, I didn't even realize I was flying there. Look at that. That is absolutely awesome. I'm loving it. It's, I feel like this is such a beautiful village now. It's, it's slowly getting there. And the trick is the, ter the terraforming. I can guarantee you that. That is what's making it. I mean, I feel like I've put in a lot of effort for these houses, which I definitely, well, the, not the houses, but the buildings so far. That is, they are coming out very, very well as well. But I think what really adds that final touch are these mountains. And man, they are looking fantastic. So in the last stream, which was basically I finished yesterday's episode, which is episode 19. I finished that last night. So I'm recording this. It was the night before this. And then we had our normal stream. And on the stream, I basically added in the snow layers and just textured these a bit. Look at that. You can see a little bit of cobble and andesite and a few trees along there. It actually took a quite a long time, and I was hoping to time lapse it, but sadly I didn't didn't hit the time lapse button. <laughs> but that's all right. We 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 got this done, and you guys know the drill. We'll we'll have many many more to come, and I think that's looking very very good. So this is the village, the first village that I'm actually starting to feel very proud of. You know, the other village, that one, I'm I'm just gonna keep that one there. It's meant to be a very basic one, and they're meant to be basic people that live there. Now we're going into a bit more civilized and a bit more. Structured, I guess. This this is a bit more complex, this village. And every person, as I say, I want to account for who works in the bar. Where do they live? Do they have a house over here? This is their house. You know, I want to get the, like to that level of detail. Because when you get to that, it means you can actually... You don't have to think that much. Which is... It sounds kind of lazy when I put it that way. But basically the idea is that the story writes itself. The builds come from what you need, you know? And this, of course, we had the, the other thing we jumped to talk about, which was the house over there. <laughs> that was there until last episode. But this village I have spoken about, it's torn between the... Uh, it's, it's stuck between the, the water over there, which will come from invading armies, and a very, very useful path to get to the main city on this side of the kingdom. So this, that's why this one over here is sort of looking like a very war driven city it's got a, it's by the time we're done with it it's going to be a city that basically has no other option but to try and defend itself and it, it's stuck between this uh this issue that is going to be pressing in this area that's my plan and as i say it's, it's a lot nicer to have that and uh and have the story write itself have the builds write themselves uh base well, instead of having to just build things like what i was doing in my last world just building a house because i wanted to build a house now I'll build a house for a reason and that's uh, a significantly nicer way to build so here we go. This is my blacksmith, which is something I'm loving. Look at that. I'm, I'm loving the little things that we managed to get in here. Been trying around a few different techniques. In fact, we even got granite and diorite in the same build. 
Kind of. They That counts, that counts. And the idea is that I just wanted to have this build over here fill in this area because I didn't want to build something here. I wanted to make this area a useful area. And not only that, builds from the outside tend to look a, a lot larger than what you need when you make the inside the right size. If, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So basically, this build looks like a fairly good size build. It looks like a build that fits in with the height of your player model. If you had villagers walking around this village, you'd see it would fit. I mean, I'm, I'm the length of the door and it doesn't look too huge. Because I know you, what you guys will know what I'm talking about. There's some of those survivor builds that just look ridiculously large and don't quite fit the scale of things. And I'm trying my hardest to try and get the, the scale to be right, but also add in detail. And you need a bit more space for detail. Sometimes too much space. A lot of the time, too much space is too much. But uh, this this is good. This is good what we got here. So coming down here, this is my bar area. And I'm, I'm loving this bar. I think this was one of my favorite interior projects. And basically just got, got a, a nice bunch of lighting and stuff. And the lighting that we've got here is something that I'm actually looking forward to in the next 20 episodes. By the way, just take a look around at that. In the next 20 episodes, I want to try and fix up our ability ability to use lighting. And that is with what I've spoken about before, a mob switch. And I'm not going to go any further with the mob switch because it's a lot to explain. But basically, what it does is it will allow us to have low, low lighting areas or next to actually no lighting at all. And we won't get mob spawning there. And it's, it's a, a completely vanilla way of doing it. We're not using any cheats. We're not going into a peaceful mode or anything like that. We purely... Uh, collecting a lot of mobs, being shulkers, putting them in the spawn chunks, and we won't have any trouble with mob spawning. That's basically the, the goal of it, at least. And hopefully in the next 20 episodes, we will complete that. So down here, this is the most recent build in our entire, in our world, actually, really. And this is the war planning room, I guess, and basically where the person who runs this village stays. And down here, we've got our map, which has got a nether portal, which I still have not actually been through. <laughs> Uh, but I've updated the map recently to account for the mountain changes, and a lot of people have noticed this little thing at the bottom here. And if you look to the last episode, I actually, you could see how I build the mountains. I build this little cross section, and then I, I fill up, fill up, fill up. And I haven't added the back onto this mountain yet. Or this one, actually all these ones at all. <laughs> but they will eventually get their backs on them. I want every mountain to be completed. In the last world, I only did half a mountain. I'm going to complete the mountains in this one. Do not worry. Do not worry. And of course, there we go. Another one of those. So, coming up here, this is something I thought was a really, really cool little path, I guess. It really worked out very well for me. I, I enjoyed it quite a bit making this, and the way it turned out also just looks absolutely awesome. In my opinion, of course. It's, everything is my opinion. <laughs> Same as this mountain. I really love the way this turned out, but uh, it's all it's all up to what, what everyone thinks. But, yeah, let's get on to the next 20 episodes. What am I thinking for the next 20 episodes? So, the plan is, obviously, the mob switch. I've also got plans to start the next path after this village and complete this village. So, that will include a large mountain over there, a uh, bunch of terraforming, a bunch of houses, a bunch of different things. And I'm probably actually, when I'm saying these things, they probably don't sound like too much stuff for 20 episodes. But, we're going to be doing, completing this village and moving on to the next path on that side, or maybe even this path on this side. Just completing as we go. Then, not only that, we are also going to be building a ship, most likely. And I think the ship is going to be really, really cool. Out, off in the distance, so that we can do a really large-scale build without it being too close. And that allows us to put a lot of detail into the ship. Because I've tried building ships, and what I've learned from building ships is you really have to make sure you go big. Because going small, you just can't add that, that shape you want. It's really, really hard. Then, also, not only that, but we are going to complete the 1 million <laughs> Ender Pearl storage, which is ridiculous so i'm gonna go ahead and do that as well in the next 20 episodes it's gonna be crazy next 20 episodes isn't even that far away guys so i'm really looking forward to all of that stuff besides that we've also got some other really cool redstone projects planned specifically actually for this village i've got a few planned for this one one that extends between this village and outside of this village which i've actually spoken about before i think in a stream i, I never remember where i speak about these things but i think it was in a stream and it's gonna be really really cool it's gonna be something very original i hope and I think it's going to work quite well. But besides that, I think that's pretty much all I've got on my list right now. I've got other things on my list, of course. Oh, this is really white. Ugh, avert your eyes. <laughs> Everyone who's watching this on the screen right now is probably yelling at me, telling me, Jesse, get away from that. It's too bright. <laughs> I can imagine everyone's uh, the light coming on everyone's face just being super, for super white. So I'll move away. Hello, Mr. Polar Bear. Not going to hit you. Another one. All the little baby polar bears have grown up. 
So let's go over here and back to spawn. And the spawn area is actually an area that I'm going to be doing a lot of farms in as well. And I noticed that this farm wasn't working that we built, I think it was episode 9, I'm going to guess. I actually have got no clue. Uh, all the episodes have gone so fast. But this sugarcane farm doesn't work when we're not around because sugarcane actually needs you to be nearby. It doesn't matter even if it's loaded in. It needs you to be nearby before it starts ticking over. So that explains why that farm will not work unless you stand around. So if ever you guys need paper... Oh, that's missed. Yeah, I've missed that for sure. I've missed that. There we go. Hit the ground. You can see it going down. We've got a long way to swim. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys ever need uh, paper for rockets or whatever like that, definitely come around here and check it out. So besides that, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you guys. I know there's a lot more stuff that we have done. Of course there is. But uh, in the next 20 episodes, I guarantee you that the amount of stuff that has been done and the amount of stuff that in this 20 episodes has been done is significantly less than what we're going to get done in the next episode. The next 20 episodes is going to be a bunch more work. And it's going to hopefully turn out even better than what we've done so far. That's the plan. Continuous improvement. So besides this, besides showing you guys around here, there is a secret little bit of a, a challenge for you guys if you download this world. There will be a chest here, starting with the challenge. And you can kind of call it a treasure hunt. It allows you to explore the two villages a little bit. And it also has a little bit of a derpy finish. So hopefully you guys take that on. It's not too long, but it's a little bit of something I thought might change up a little bit. Might, might, might be a little bit more fun than just a plain world download. So I'm going to go and work on that actually while this video renders and uploads. And then I'll put the world download with all of my items. So everything from my person, all of these things, will be in this chest here. And I'll also probably empty my ender chest with uh, whatever's in there. And I'll probably put it in one of those chests over there. But for today, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And I hope that you guys enjoy the download and play in the world and enjoy it. Why have I gone right around? So hopefully I'll enjoy... Hopefully, hopefully I'll enjoy it. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next 20 episodes. And thank you very much for all the great support on these ones. But I'll see you next time, guys.